high. <laughs> it is sometimes really difficult uh, on places like this that are so beautiful, so bright, and and just you are enjoying the living to think and talk about subjects that are really problematic for for some artists and I I'm when I'm reading some of the uh, emails I'm getting and it is such a burden sometimes what artists are having on the shoulder and then you are in a place like this and you are confronted with um, with, with, with all the sorrows and it is really hard to understand why not can we live all on a, such a beautiful place and, and be free of worries and everything will work out fine. But actually I have decided that I can do something about it. I can reach out, I can help people, per perhaps support or contribute some ideas, some insights, some inspiration that actually can change um, the sorrowful uh, life of, of some artists. And perhaps you are right now not having this, this problem, but it could be that um, this idea that I will have you uh, give you today will perhaps help some other actually artists and I know I have this, uh, this this problem too and it is such a burden to carry around so just listen to what I have to contribute on support perhaps to you if you have this problem but if not then I am contributing it to someone that perhaps you are knowing of and that is a creative uh, artist or someone that has abilities and skills that are actually uh, creative and, and artistic. To make it a little bit shorter, it is the problem that artists are wondering why their artistic career is not picking up, why is no one out there actually um, giving the support I am needing, why actually is not see, no one seeing the value I have to offer and in this way why I am not progressing, why I am not profiting from, from my gift of creativity, of, of the gift that I have to offer of art. And I want to answer this in, in a completely different way. Of course, there are different possibilities to find an answer uh, for this, but I want to answer this in a way that understands more, is built more on, on human communication. When you are looking at what successful artists are actually doing, in a way they are getting out there with what they have to offer as, as art, what they have to say, their value, and suddenly there are people out there who are really getting it, who are not only getting it, but they want to have a piece of it, they want to buy their art. So in a way you can understand the problem of why is not uh, my art, my art career picking up, you can see it as a communication problem. And the communication problem is actually that this is uh, what what uh, not so uh, successful artists are doing is uh, half of the communication so they are getting out there they're communicating but they are not seeing the necessity of the other side getting what they are actually saying so it is when you are communicating and you are understanding communication this way, it is important what you are saying is always only half the job. When someone is out there understanding the values that you are saying, then it is a communication. And actually, this is what successful artists are doing. They are actually not stopping at just making their art and, and saying perhaps something about the art. They are doing in in a way which is understandable, perceivable through the other side of audience and, and the art um, bias. So once you are getting out of this myth that art stops with just completing the artwork and, and saying out loud what you have to say, that's it. No, it is a combination. It is a, a necessity of the other side getting it. So it is important to say it in a way that is understandable, that is approachable. And you must understand then that this communication is happening uh, under a greater influence what 
is going on right now, what you would call the zeitgeist. And when the people that are communicating are having the same understanding of the world, of values, of the zeitgeist, then a communication is successful. And a successful communication is actually nothing more than the transaction in, in the art market, because all this is happening in a broader context and every participant of this context of this communication is uh, can understand and exchange each, uh, each other under this uh, context so let me show you a graphic that perhaps uh, will explain it a little bit uh, better um, let's talk first about the uh, position a artist is at the beginning or an artist is having when he's starting this career. He is actually as an artist and he has some inner ideas, inner vision, inner values, and he is making actually a claim. And these values and so on are expressed in his art, in his artwork. So it is his art is just the expression of his inner self, what is happening with him and what he's thinking, what is right or wrong and so on. More, if you want to put it on the negative side, it is the direct expression of his ego in the worst possible case. And then his art buyer has to be someone that loves this self-representation, that loves this artist's ego, and it's just focusing on this person, what is going on in this person, and he's buying this value of, of the artwork because he's interested in it, what this artist is thinking, how he's feeling, and it has perhaps less to do with, with him as an art buyer, but it's just a piece of another person. It is just like, um, let's say, like, like, uh, like a listen to the radio even if you are not interested in what is actually going on as, as the radio play or what the radio um, transmitter what the radio content maker has has to say it is just something that's happening and perhaps you like the voice or you like the whatever it is you are liking it but it has nothing so much to do so you have to be a real fan of this this voice of this uh, radio uh, stations uh, to to love it and to invest you time and perhaps money uh, in it and in the end you are making out of their uh, art buyer this is the audience and the art buyer only a receiver someone who can perhaps it is up to him if he can actually do something with this value it, it if he or she can see a value of it and then this um, uh, art buyer, this art admirer, should feed again, should contribute the money to the artist who then actually can produce another uh, piece of art. So it is a just one-sided circle and uh, in the beginning is the art artist and his ego, what he's thinking and what he has to say. And of course this is something that is working and can actually work very well. There are so self-centered uh, self artists who are so uh, emotionally overwhelming that actually people can get behind it even if they are not really interested in the context or the art has no context uh, at all. It can uh, actually work, but this is not where actually the artistic success is happening. And that's why I have this second uh, graphic here. It is showing you that actually the, all the participants of this exchange of, uh, of art are standing under the influence of the zeitgeist. There are certain values, there are certain topics, several, certain ideas who are overarching our whole life. It can be something that is really recent, like let's say the political troubles we are right now, but it can be about the struggle of, of women or how to be a man. Bigger ideas that are reaching far beyond um, our century, that are coming over and over perhaps uh, in art. So there are some common ideas and certain people are like under the umbrella of a certain idea or under the certain uh, zeitgeist and they are interested in the communication about this, um, this, this certain ideas and then comes uh, artist is actually someone uh, who is a contemporary 
witness that is witnessing as a human being this bigger ideas and he's expressing this uh, bigger ideas in his artwork so the perhaps sometimes abstract ideas the perhaps unseen movement in our uh, zeitgeist are getting materialized they are becoming something that can be seen understandable can be debatable and that they can a communication can start because something has manifested it is not perhaps the best manifestation of this idea of this vision that is bigger but it is a manifestation and then the uh, art itself becomes an expression uh, about this this higher ideas this higher values and people are automatically drawn to this artworks because they are seeing something that resonates with them because they have also this bigger ideas this um, this, this visions, this uh, ideology perhaps on their mind and suddenly they are seeing a materialization expression of this so they want to get know uh, more about this they are magnetically drawn to, to this manifestation of, of those values and then art market around this um, around this artwork is also something that is actually helping as well as the audience who are interested in this topic as the artists who are actually the producer of this topic to get together to be the best possible uh, platform to exchange ideas to exchange values and also in a way make profit out of it and all this uh, all this uh, cycle is feeding also back to the artist he is not just someone who is um, having this ideas and they are expressing uh, this kind of perhaps egoistic ideas but he is in a part of an exchange process because all this way the, his artwork has expressed it then there was an audience who discussed it perhaps there was an art critic expressing uh, something about it and the art dealer has brought his own ideas and all this is trickling down back to the artist and then the artist is also gaining inspiration from this this uh, this outside so the ideas are not just only his point of view but they are representing also the the real world out there and then it is a combination a fusion of it and this is expressed again in new artworks and going it, it is going back to the circle but this circle is getting richer and richer because the artist himself is not the only source who is feeding the art it is a fusion it is expressing more about our time our condition our this perhaps bigger ideas and what what they mean into our world and this kind of circle is so much more about uh, the artist as a human in a specific time period and um, thinking and speaking out loud about what is happening now how are those values how are those higher ideas have a context in our life and this context is then discussed through the exchange of the uh, market and in this way this cycle is so much richer and by richer of course it has so much more to do more with profit because when we are useful in such a way to to the broader discussion about bigger ideas what is going on and so on you have more value you have you are then the authority about those values and you are becoming not only important but you are becoming necessary to this exchange to this communication and when you are necessary of course you are then more successful it is just one idea how you can think about it it has nothing to do just going out there picking an idea that you are perhaps not comment, uh, connected to that is just popular and then you are starting doing artworks about it um, this most likely it will not work because most likely you will not stay uh, motivated to ideas who are not part of your vision it is more important and this is also what I am suggesting to sit down and to write down what are the values of your art what your art is all about what are the highest ideas of your art your artistic vision and then to look what part of this values higher ideas are already out there as a part 
of our contemporary um, thinking of, of our zeitgeist and what are the people who are already talking about uh, this content and then get to get involved with this in this communication with your contribution as an artist and you will find out you will be most likely welcomed with, with open arms because you are bringing in a fresher view of, of something uh, on something that is really valuable uh, to those people. So I hope this is um, answering the, the question a little bit. All it takes is to get rid of the myth that art only can be about yourself and, and this, this expression of the ego is so important. I think by switching in thinking how to support, how to communicate and how not to make the communication only one-sided is the best uh, way uh, forward you can try it out and it's starting with writing what is important to you and finding the people who are also thinking this content is important and then to get in communication with them i hope this was helpful and i hope to see you in my next video until then see you soon bye bye